Hi there, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. So, I figured I would shoot a video so you know what kind of comes in these paper pumpkin kits, okay? For those of you that got the kit, I'm going to do it so not only do you have the instructions, but you have a visual. I haven't opened it yet. The only thing I've done is take the shrink wrap off and taken the um, tissue paper out. That's it. Um, why? Because I wanted to know what ink spot so I could have the bigger pad. I don't like the little ones. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to open it up. We're going to go through the kit. We're going to make the three, I believe it's three cards from the instructions, it looked like, the three cards. And then if I happen to come up with some alternate projects, I will um, do those for you. Um, I do want to remind you that on paperpumpkin.com, if you click on the blog, there's a whole bunch of what the kit entails. And then on the bottom of the blog, there's also about three, four, five, I can't remember exactly, um, alternate projects to do. There's a tag, there's a card, all the measurements are there, everything's there. So if you don't necessarily like the instructions, the samples, then you might want to look at that and see if there's something better that you, that would fit your needs better for what you need to get accomplished in the next month. So. I have been assured by email um, and by update that next month's paper pumpkin will be on time, <laughs> meaning May's kit. Um, April's kit, we'll see, but May's kit has the new in colors in it and a few other things that I'm still reading about, but... I have been assured that they already have the inventory for it and that there will not be a delay. So with that being said, I'm going to open this one, even though we're a little late this month and we're going to get to going. So here we are. So we've got ribbon. This looks like pale papaya to me. I'm going to just, I'm just going to open everything. So when I go to use it, I can, I can do that, right? So let's see, did I pop it? Yes, okay. I have the hardest time with these. So, so there's some cute ribbon. Like I said before, Misty Moonlight. So two stamp sets this month, not just one. Thinking of you, I will always be here for you. Thanks, hello, congratulations, a little note. This is the one that goes with the set. And then this is the bonus one, bunch of flowers, celebrate best wishes, sending you birthday wishes, uh, time to celebrate. Cute, awesome, love bonuses. So then we're gonna pitch this. Did you know that these boxes, if you want wanted the brown side out, you can, um, pop these and flip them inside out. So if you were mailing something, you could use the brown side, the craft side, the cardboard, and be able to use it in the mail and be able to write on it. Awesome, right? Just FYI for you. All right, so I do have a block out. I do have um, what I need for right now. Okay, so I've got some bling. That's always a welcome thing. I've got some dimensionals. And more wrap. Okay, so let's see here. Pale papaya, not sure which green that is. And yellow, yay. This coordinates with the On Horizon Suite. And guess what? It's finally back in stock. So if you do want more of this, please let me know. Also, um, the refill is available. So if you're in love with this, then um, 
let me know that as well. We can get that refill ordered for you. So a bunch of pennants and that kind of stuff. And then some pop out banner type stuff. As well as some borders. If you cannot see them, like this one I couldn't see, flip it over to see where it's cut to see if it's all the way across or pieces or whatnot. So, so there's that. There's some more textured. These are our card bases, more card bases. Oh, it looks like they've separated it out for us, which is awesome now that I've put it all together, but hey, that's okay. Okay flip over so you got some pennant some narrow pennants here and some wider ones there and then we've got some punch outs mountains leaves all that fun stuff okay so oop i almost tossed the directions they were sticking to the back all right so for the directions instructions rather sorry so on the back side it has what should be in your kit you always want to check this um have i ever had a mistake like once or twice but you do always want to check it and make sure because occasionally they'll miss it's human right so they do get packed by people so it is what it is um so here's the alternate projects okay and those can be found on the blog, paperpumpkin.com, and go to the blog. And all the measurements for that are on there, okay? All right, so if we open this up, here's card number one. Here's one, two, and three as a summary, okay? And then if you open back up, here's one, here's two, and here's three, okay? So we're going to start with one, and I'm going to actually go by the instructions. Can you believe it? The first time out I actually do. So there's that. First time. <laughs> I no longer buy an extra kit. So if you actually want the kit, there's a couple different ways you can do it. If it's in the past and you didn't subscribe, we can look and see on the retired group on the 10th of the next month is when it retires. And we can look under, um, Stampin' Up, what is it? Stampin' Up, Retired, uh, I'd have to look at the group. Anyways, there's a retired sales group and a lot of people post on there. So we'd be able to find it possibly there. And there's also a Paper Pumpkin Retired group. So, gotta find a way, right? If you want it bad enough, huh? All right, so on this first card, okay, First off, we're gonna get the right card base. So this is the card base that we're gonna do. Fold it in half, done. All right, so what pieces do I need? I need this, and I need a piece of white, piece of white, pennant kind of thing. That's going to be stamped, I'm sure of it. So we've got that one, and then I've got the leaves or trees or whatever these are. I don't know. Now where are they? Oh, the other sheet that I tossed the other way. Okay. So we've got this, and then we're going to punch these out. Hopefully, very carefully and all that fun stuff. My goodness, where do you start, huh? Probably on the bottom or the top is usually where I go. So there's that, okay? And I think, I think, I think that is all we have for this one. So I'm gonna grab here and it says to use a little note, the stamp, a little note. So I'm gonna put that on my block. If you cannot do it straight, I cannot do it straight. <laughs> Throw it down here line up with your line and then do that okay so there's that let's see da, da, da. and then i need dimensionals but i can do that in a minute so first i'm going to stamp first i'm going to stamp so if i mess it up i can flip it over so we're gonna go here now i just went in the middle 
If you want to go to the left, to the right, you can, but I went in the middle. Okay, we're going to put this back, dry our block a little. I'm assuming that other stamp set is a bonus, and this is the one we're going to utilize mainly, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we did that. Okay, so now what do I have to do? I have to get all this stuff glued on here, right? So looks to me that what we do, if you don't like the papaya side, use the white side. You can do that easily. So I'm going to put it down here. And then this is supposed to have dimensionals to it. Dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. Okay, so instead of gluing that down because it is so detailed and so delicate, what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can capture all that with the dimensionals as well. So we're gonna move that a little bit, do this, and hope and pray it stays. Yep, perfect. So that's the first one. Yay! Okay. Uh, oh, we're supposed to do gems somewhere. Where are they? Because I can't really see it in the instructions. Where are the gems? I don't see them at all in the pictures. I'm not finding it. Where does it say to put them? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna wait on that. But if I had to pick, I'd put them here and here, or I'd put them like in the sky. I'm just just not seeing it. So we're gonna move on to two. Okay, so for the second one, we are supposed to punch out leaves. Leaves and leaves and leaves. Maybe. So we kind of peel, peel this off, not let it get caught so it doesn't end up tangling and tearing. Okay, so there's leaves. And then we're supposed to have another set. I think this is that yellow one. Looks like it to me. So we're gonna punch this out. This one's going much better than the other one was. Don't know why. So we're gonna punch that out, punch this out. And then now we're supposed to have borders. One's a pink, pinkish border kind of thing. So there's our pink one. And then the other one is the zigzaggy green one. So that one, I know, this is Evening Evergreen. So we got that one. Okay, what else do I need here? The thanks on the block, and that is gonna go with the hexagon shaped, trapezoidy kind of thing is what it looks like to me. Ah, this color one. So this is that one. Okay. Most important, get your pieces and your parts, right? So we're gonna grab the thanks. Looks like the hello will fit there also, but right now I'm trying to follow the directions. It's really hard for me, actually. All right, so we're gonna do the thanks. If you don't like this color, flip it over, use the white. Here I am telling you not to follow the directions again, aren't I? So we're gonna stamp this here. So there's that. Let's get that cleaned off so we don't make mistakes later. Okay, now put that back. Okay, so now we can pretty much kind of sort of assemble. So we've got this card base is what we're supposed to use. Okay, and then pieces and parts all over the place. Hmm, let's see, what are we supposed to use for what? Oh, and the denim one. Wait, I missed this. 
this goes with the thanks. Okay, so there's that piece. Okay, so now this piece goes with this. Okay, and then this goes with this. Oh, how are we supposed to do all this, huh? <laughs> so on the instructions, if you see here, those are dimensionals. The black dots, those are supposed to be glue dots. FYI, if you didn't understand that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm grabbing my pink border and there's supposed to be four glue dots. Four, not five, not three, but four. So there's one. Here's two. Here's three and four okay so there's that now we're supposed to have the green on the back and by dots it looks like i'm supposed to do like one here one here and one here so we're following directions he's trying to oh my goodness if your things booger like that sometimes it's time to throw them in the fridge for a second but i'm just trying to get done <laughs> so it can wait right um by the way i hardly ever use the glue dots that come with it because i don't like the fact that they're two-sided so there's that all right so this looks like it is stuck on here okay and then it looks to me layers and layers right so it looks to me that this is stuck here-ish, and this goes across the whole way, so you gotta make sure, okay? So now, we're gonna put glue dots on this other piece. Looks like there's four on this one. So we're gonna put right up top, and that's gonna probably get rolled a little bit so it's not sticky elsewhere. And there's two here's three kind of folded and put okay and last but not least down below where down below hmm looks like maybe right there I don't know okay that one's already in the way a problem so we're gonna have to roll that one back a tiny bit you just gotta kind of push it where you want it okay show it who's boss so there's that okay so there's that and then the green piece looks like is put right over that then there's three on this one so there's my one here's my two here's my three okay ouch Okay, so now is this centered? Kind of, but not really. So we're just gonna put, and hopefully it's straight. That's the key, right? Okay, now what we're gonna do, looks like there's three dimensionals on the banner and two on the other. So I'm gonna put here, here, and here. And then the two for the banner, it looks like, are like up top and below, so you don't infringe on the other. So now what we're gonna do, this looks like it goes between the pink and the green one. So, let's see, let's offset this a little bit. So there's that. And then we're gonna yank those off, right? And then this kind of sets down on here. It's not centered, so make sure it's not so it doesn't look like we missed, okay? And then if you wanna put bling and all that. So there's two. Third one. Whew. Third one is, um, looks like the mountains one. 
So I'm grabbing all my pieces and parts that I need. Make sure you get the coordinating envelopes that go with it too, of course, right? So this is the card base for the last one, but first we're gonna punch out all our pieces. So it looks to me, looks, looks, looks to me to have this big textured white thing. That's gonna go there for right now. And then it looks to me that we're getting one of these little green pieces. One of these little green pieces. And then, hmm, where'd all my other ones go? Here we go. Okay. So now, looks to me that we're going to grab our mountains and our mountains. So our mountains and our mountains. And then this is trash unless you want to use it for like stencil or something like that. Or cutouts, but yeah, not going to happen. Okay, so let's see what else. There is a, there is a word. So I got to see, hmm, 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 what else? So where's this word one coming from? Hmm, not there. Hmm, well, it's got to be here somewhere. Maybe not, I don't know. Hmm, 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 hmm. Look, look, look through all the piles, right? Ah, there we go. Alrighty, found it. So we're gonna grab this one. We've grabbed all the other stuff, I think. And I'm like, where's that other little stringy piece coming from? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. It's not there, it's not there. Where is, what is that? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that because I can't quite see what that is. So if any of you have an idea, please post it in the comments. Yes, really. So, okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm grabbing my stamp and seal instead of doing the glue dots. And we're gonna run some seal. And this is gonna go pretty much the top of the green. So there's that. And then it looks like this piece, it says glue dots, but I'm gonna do the seal so I can finish. That's gonna go here-ish, okay? And then the green and the blue. So the blue goes kind of in the background. Background. And that's going to go like up in here. And if you have a little bit of a gap, not a big deal because this green one is going to cover it. Okay, this one you probably want to do glue dots for because I just got sticky all over the place. So there's that. Rub the glue off, right? All right, so what words are we doing? I will always be there for you. Okay, so there's this one here. Okay, so we're gonna stamp this. Hey, I'm doing a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Hubby just got home. Yay! <laughs> so, so we got that and last but not least these words are going to go somewhere i think we're going to offset them and do some dimensionals like i said i don't know about that little stringy piece in the background but hey it is what it is if you can figure it out please post it in the comments because i'm just not seeing it so so there's my last one and of course add the bling do what you need to do and like I said before, go to, oh, it's probably the ribbon. Anyways, too late now. So go to paperpumpkin.com, look at the blog for the alternate projects. There's a couple really cute ones. So um, you will have that all set and ready to go. If you have any questions or um, have different ideas, anything you want to share, 
just let me know. It's awesome. It's a good kit. I think almost every single one is a good kit. There's only been a couple where I've been not so much. So that is what I have by instruction. And I hope you guys enjoy your kit. Um, if you have not subscribed for May's kit, the in color kit, you need to do so. You can do that at paperpumpkin.com or you can ask me and I can send you a quick little personalized link so you don't have to name me as your demonstrator. So thanks so much and talk to you soon. Let me know if you have questions and enjoy your kit. Go create. Bye-bye.